Okay, that was Stushi with Black Heart, and in this section we're going to look at some of the Blu-rays and DVDs out this week. Starting with Taken 2, where Liam Neeson returns as Brian Mills, the retired CIA agent, with a particular set of skills, who stopped at nothing to save his daughter Kim from Albanian kidnappers. And when the father of one of the kidnappers swears revenge and takes Brian and his wife hostage during their family vacation in Istanbul, Brian enlists Kim to help them escape. Well, I thought the first one was very so-so, and... I have no interest in watching Liam ne Neil Neeson in a kidnap drama again. I've heard how bad it is, so I might wait for an uncut version on TV like last time. This version at the cinema is a 12A, so it's been trimmed down to get more bums on seats. Idiots. If you do go, well, if you do buy this, then uh, the special features include the extended and theatrical features, so maybe there's more blood and violence this time. Better ought to be. Uh, deleted scenes, an alternate ending. The Black Ops Field Manual. Sam's Tools of the Trade. And FX Movie Channel presents In Character with Liam Neeson. Wow. Uh, also this out this week we have Detachment. Now in director K Tony Kaye's Detachment, Adrian Brody stars as Henry Baths, an educator with a true talent to connect to his students. Yet Henry has chosen to bury his gift. By spending his days as a substitute teacher, he conveniently avoids any emotional connections by never staying anywhere long enough to form an attachment to either students or colleagues. When a new assignment places him at a public school where a frustrated, burned-out administration has created an apathetic student body, Henry soon becomes a role model to the disaffected youth. In finding an unlikely emotional connection to the students, teachers and a runaway teen he takes in from the streets, Henry realises that he's not alone in his life, in his life and death struggle rather, to find beauty in a seemingly vicious and loveless world. Now starring Adrian Brody, Christina Hendricks, Marcia Gay Harden, Lucy Liu, Brian Cranston, this has been around for a couple of years and only came out in the UK in the summer of 2012, so it's taken a while to be released for home viewing as well. However, it does look like a potential hidden gem. Also this week we have Chained. And from the mind, right, from mind rather, of writer-director Jennifer Lynch comes one of the most controversial and uncompromising thrillers of our time, it says here. When he was nine years old, Tim and his mother were abducted by a taxi-driving serial killer Bob, an intensely disturbing performance by Vincent D'Onofrio. Tim's mother was murdered, and Tim was kept as a chained slave, forced to bury the bodies of young women that Bob drags home and keeps scrapbooks of the crimes. Now a teenager, Tim, Eamon Farron, and Bob share a depraved father-son protege relationship, but who will ultimately sever the bond between family and unimaginable horror? Starring Vincent D'Onofrio, Julia Ormond, Jake Webber, uh, this looks like a fascinating premise, especially with D'Onofrio in the lead role, although it does feel like a take on Mum and Dad, a British film starring per uh, Perry Benson and Dido Miles, the latter of whom now plays Dr Emma Reed in Doctors on BBC One. And by God, a, a performance in Mum and Dad is a far cry from that. So, yeah, definitely watch Mum and Dad, but yeah, I think, yeah, watch Chained as well. Now, before I continue with this, uh, blah, 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 with the look at this week's Blu-rays and DVDs, here's some more music. It's David Bowie and Jump They Say. <laughs> 